Midori might have you feeling Saturday Night Fever, but I think it's time to bring it into the present and future. So let's make an improved homemade version of this melon liqueur, made famous in the disco era. You'll like this thing so much, you'll use it for more than just adding green color to your cocktails. Speaking of which, I'll show you a couple of easy cocktail recipes to use this improved liqueur in, plus a bonus one at the end, so stick around for that. And let me know in the comments if you did. Now, it's cocktail time! Midori Melon Liqueur was first introduced in Japan in 1964 under the name Hermes Melon Liqueur. It was renamed to Midori, meaning green, when it was introduced to the United States in 1978. That launch was held at New York's famous Studio 54 nightclub, with a party hosted by the cast of Saturday Night Fever, including John Travolta. Midori is made from Japanese musk and Yubari melons, and is of course artificially colored green. The bottle's texture resembles the surface of a melon. In 2012, the recipe was changed based on bartender's feedback to cut back on the sugar content by 20%. According to some sources, the sugar content may vary, depending on where it's produced – Japan, US, Mexico or France. Let's give this one a taste. Melon is quite subtle, with the major flavor being closer to bubblegum or gummy bears, with hints of banana and green apple. I decided that instead of trying to replicate the flavor of Midori, I'll aim for a more natural tasting melon liqueur. Since melon is pretty mellow in flavor and doesn't infuse all that well, I decided for a technique we covered recently – cryo concentration. Freezing out part of the water from the melon will concentrate the flavor and boost the natural sugar content, which is key for our improved DIY Midori. Along with melon, you'll also need some banana chips for a subtle tropical note, a grain spirit to add ABV, ascorbic acid and sodium citrate as preservatives, and flavor enhancers and a little food coloring, but these three are optional. We are aiming for liqueur with 25% ABV, slightly higher than Midori's, 20-21%, to and a sugar content of 150 grams per liter, as I usually do with DIY liqueurs. For starters, we need to get cryo-concentrated melon juice. I went into the details of this flavor-boosting technique a few weeks ago with pineapple, but it's basically the same process here – peel and juice the fruit. And while I'm not using Japanese melons, I am using a Japanese knife, so that's something. Interestingly. Midori production starts with Yubari melons that are harvested, broken down into a pulp and then immediately frozen before being sent off to the distillery, so we might be starting with a similar process. With the cooler that I'm using, I'll need about 1.5 liter of melon juice. At this point, it's also good to check for the sweetness level, which we can do with a refractometer. This juice has a Brix value of 10 and we'll see how far we can bump that up. Place the cooler in the freezer and leave for most of the water content to freeze on the top. For me, that took around 24 hours. Continue by cutting through and removing the frozen part, which you'll place on the strainer. First thing we want is the concentrated melon juice, so strain that. As for the frozen liquid, I realized that the first part that will melt still has a significant amount of sugar in it, sometimes even more than the melon juice that didn't freeze. To measure the exact amounts, you'll need to get the liquid to room temperature, which I'll do with this glass under warm water. Then you can measure the sugar content again. You're aiming to get 19 bricks with your cryo concentrated juice. If you're not quite there, you have two options. Place in the freezer again and concentrate it even more, or just add sugar. We have the right sweetness and along with that, we also have a very intense melon flavor. You can use leftover melon water for highballs, like we did at the end of the pineapple episode. As for our liqueur, we'll make it with 500 ml of cryo-concentrated melon juice. Like mentioned earlier, I wanted to add a subtle tropical note, so I'll mix in banana chips. 7 grams will be enough for our 500 ml of melon juice, both of which I'm adding into a blender. We'll also add 1.2 gram of ascorbic acid for vitamin C and 3 grams of sodium citrate. Both will act as a preservative and flavor enhancer for our melon liqueur. But even if you don't have this, you can try making the liqueur then blend for at least 30 seconds for everything to mix in nicely. After that, we'll mix this with 96% grain alcohol to get the liqueur to 25% ABV level. This is similar to switching, another freezing technique used by Panda and Sons, where they freeze spirits to remove water and replace it with something else, like clarified fruit juice, so the original spirit gets a different flavor. For our cryo-concentrated juice, we need to add 34.4 ml of grain spirit for every 100 ml of our juice. You can also divide your total amount by 2.9 and get the end result. As always, the easiest way is to use the calculator on kvcost.com. Type in the amount of juice you have and you'll get how much alcohol you need to add. For my 500 ml of juice, I'm adding 172 ml of our grain spirit alcohol. 
Now we have a homemade melon liqueur, 25% ABV and 150 grams of sugar per liter. You can filter this right now and use it as is. But if you want to add green coloring, you first need to clarify it. To do that, just leave it to sit at room temperature for at least 24 hours. For the alcohol to clarify the liqueur, you can double that time for better results. Now we filter the liqueur through a cloud filter. As always, transfer the filter once you see clear liquid coming through and refilter the first part. At the end, we we'll end up with a clear liqueur with a yellowish hue. We'll change to green with some green fruit coloring. Matcha green tea isn't a great option here, as it wouldn't be as stable and would change color. The best way to get the color you want is to use a technique shown by Jean-Felix on truffles on the rock. Pour out a small amount of the liqueur and add a little bit of green coloring into it. Stir to mix well, then we'll use this to slowly add the right amount of green color into our liqueur. Go for bright green like Midori, or add a little less if you don't want that neon green look. The beauty of this technique is that you can decide for yourself. What's left can be enjoyed as a shot by yourself or a friend. Add a label and unlike most liqueurs, I'd suggest storing this in the fridge. But we've waited enough, so let's give it a quick taste before we make a couple of simple cocktails. It has a sweet fruity aroma of melon with subtle honeyed and tropical notes. Our DOI Midori has a lovely melon flavor on the palate, which lingers on the aftertaste. The flavor of the liqueur will continue to develop and have an even better taste after a few days because the alcohol will mellow and round out the flavor. But even now I'd say we made a superior liqueur. The first cocktail we'll make will be the simple 3 ingredient Midori Sour. So you'll only need our DOI Midori, lime juice and egg white and saline solution, so technically 4 ingredients. Start by separating egg white into a separate container through a hot orange strainer. We'll add that last. The homemade melon liqueur will be the base spirit and the sweetener. We need 2 ounces or 60 ml. For lime, I'm first prepping the garnish, a lime peel coin, then the juice, 1 ounce or 30 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice. Follow that with a little less egg white, 3 quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half ml. Another egg white tip, if you whisk it slightly, you stretch out and unravel the proteins, making it easier to dose correctly. Lastly, 2 drops of saline solution to boost the flavors. We'll give this a dry shake first, to emulsify the egg white and create a nice foam. Then add plenty of ice and shake again to chill and dilute. Before double straining the cocktail into a chilled rocks glass over fresh ice. Our first cocktail of the day has a fresh citrusy aroma with subtle hints of melon, with more of the same on the palate. While it's a refreshing blend of lime and melon sweetness, I think a stronger base like gin or vodka would be a good idea. As for the fluffy texture and the green color, it's no wonder the Midori Sour was so popular in the 80s. These days a contender for that level of popularity is the Spritz. Aperol may be the king in that category, but I think melon can go with Prosecco just as good as orange. Let's make the Midori Spritz. Here we'll start with a chilled stem glass, filled with ice. We are going with a traditional 3 to 1 ratio, starting with 3 ounces or 90 ml of Prosecco. As usual, I'm using Fiol. Next, 2 ounces or 60 ml of our DIY Midori. The sweetness will mix it nicely with the Prosecco. Then, as per cocktail time tradition, 2 drops of 20% Sally solution. And to make it a spritz, 1 ounce, 30 ml or a spritz of soda water. Give everything a gentle lift and mix with a bar spoon. Garnish with a slice of melon and that's it. Tell me you wouldn't enjoy this next to a Venice canal. The Midori Spritz has a light, bubbly aroma with a hint of sweet melon. When you take a sip, you'll taste the sparkling Prosecco mingling with the refreshing melon flavor from our liqueur. This is a light and delightful drink with just enough of the bubbles and a touch of melon sweetness. As for the third cocktail, it's this, the Greener Negroni. This is my version of the bitter Italian classic with a green twist. It's what you'd expect and more. Bitter, sweet, subtly fruity and pleasantly dry. All in all, delicious and beautiful in its own way. I'll share the recipe with all readers of the Cocktail Times, a weekly newsletter, and a video of me making it with all the patrons of Cocktail Time. The newsletter keeps you up to date with all Cocktail Time episodes. Plus, you also get useful cocktail tips, answers to your most interesting questions, best videos to watch from other creators, and more. Sign up to the Cocktail Times newsletter on my website, kevincoz.com. So with that, we reached the bottom of the glass. To let me know you've made it all the way here, post a melon emoji in the comments. Yeah, that emoji you were never sure what it was, it's a melon. Today I have a quick fun fact regarding Midori. I already mentioned Midori is Japanese for green, but did you know it's also a popular girl's name? Japanese figure skater Midori Ito and American actress Midori Francis share this interesting name. That's it for today, check out our Patreon here and check out more homemade liqueurs here. I'll see you next week, friends of cocktails.